Kiora. Hello New Zealand, we've teamed up with Silicon Valley startup Impossible Foods to offer the much talked about plant-based Impossible Burger as part of our business premiere menu. It's the first time the burger will be served in flight anywhere in the world and you're among the very first customers able to try it. Uh, you would have never known that was not me in that burger. I took the first bite and oh, it was amazing. The Impossible Burger tastes like real meat because it actually generates flavor the same way. So we studied what was involved in that. What are the precursors? What, what are the components that are necessary to generate flavor on cooking, like meat does? And one of the things we discovered was the critical role of heme. The Impossible Burger tastes like real meat because we go and understand at the molecular level each of the components to drive each of the sensory experiences. So for the textural components to give that shoe down and the juiciness, we have wheat protein and we have potato protein. For the flavor, uh, we discovered uh, heme. So we have like hemoglobin that in the raw state is metallic. And upon cooking, it reacts with simple nutrients like sugars, vitamins, and amino acids to create the full aroma of meat flavor, those caramelized, delicious meat notes. We also have some xanthan and konjac to bind it together for all of the raw handling properties. And then we have coconut oil, which is really that delicious fat to bring the mouth coating, the cooking properties, and really to deliver that delicious flavor generation by heat. In our business premiere menu, we always have a burger. It's a staple, we can't take it off because our customers love it. So we've offered different burgers over time and this is the first time we've had the opportunity to be able to offer a plant-based patty. We think this burger is going to appeal to everybody. It's really delicious. So whether you're a vegetarian, a flexitarian, or a straight out omnivore, we think you're going to love it. When the opportunity came up to work with Air New Zealand, we jumped on it. You know, it's an international airline, it's uh, hugely respected, and this is gonna be the very first time that our burgers are served in the air. I wish I could watch their expressions because when, when I've seen family members or friends take their first bite of the burger and then, look, this is 100% from plants, and they bite into it, it's like, wow. We'll be serving the burger from the 1st of July in our business premiere cabin and it will be flying from Los Angeles to Auckland twice a day.